Are you ready to make history? Okay, maybe not make history, that's a bit dramatic. But we are definitely gonna do something very cool here to my I'm actually three. Uh, let's just cut right to the chase. 350 megahertz, 7 gigabyte hard drive, 128 megs of RAM, um, slot loading, CD-ROM drive, and that's basically it. Um, I'm gonna upgrade this thing to its max specs or very close to them. Um, over the time, I mean, over the past few weeks, I've been on eBay getting some parts. What we have here are dual 512 meg sticks of PC100 memory. This particular iMac can handle up to one gigabyte of memory, so I'm maxing it out with that. That'll be cool. Big difference over 128 megs of RAM. I can't wait to see the difference. Next, we have a slot loading DVD ROM drive. Um, yeah, that's basically it. It is officially from Apple. It was ripped from an iMac, and obviously I got it through eBay, like I said. So, very cool. This, uh, 120 gigabyte hard drive. Woof! Big difference over 7 gigabyte. This thing will be awesome. Um, currently I have 7 gigabyte, like I said, and this will be a huge upgrade. This iMac's max, um, hard drive size that I can handle is 128 gigabytes, but I've decided 120 is fine, especially for what I plan to do, but I'll, I'll tell you more about that soon. Next we have the biggest part of all, Mac OS X Tiger. I've read before that Mac OS X Tiger sometimes have problems uh, running on the older Macs, for instance in this case the iMac G3. So hopefully it goes okay, and obviously it's DVD-ROM, it's a uh, DVD-ROM disc which is why I got the DVD-ROM drive, so it can handle it. Because obviously a CD-ROM drive can't read it. So, that should be very interesting to put on there. And if it doesn't install fine, then I'll just put Panther on there, because I do have Panther. So, let's hope that goes okay. Okay, moving on. iLife 06. Again, DVD edition. I love iLife. It's one of my favorite um, creative suites, I guess you could call it, next to Adobe. Now, obviously... I need a Mountain Dew to get me through this. It's gonna be pretty scary. Okay, maybe not scary, but I will explain why I'm kind of nervous about this. Usually I'm, um, usually I'm very confident about upgrading hardware without any issues, you know, on the way. But this is old Mac hardware, guys. This is like a G3. This is way before I was even a Mac user. Um, the thing with this is, in order to install any version of OS X, you had to upgrade, I mean, up, update its firmware to the most recent version, and you had, and you had to update OS 9 to OS 9.2.2. Yeah, that's right. OS 9.2.2. So this thing is fully upgraded software and firmware-wise, so I just hope the um, upgrade of everything goes well. The thing I'm most nervous about is getting Tiger on there. The hardware should be fine, but the software... Let's hope Tiger can get on there. Okay, so why am I doing this? Well, I, I plan to uh, do a lot of Final Cut work and 3D rendering in Maya because my PowerBook can't handle that, so I figured my I'm actually 3 can handle Guys, I'm kidding. That's just a lame joke. Come on now. Final Cut rendering on G3 Mac? Um, not only that, but 3D rendering in Maya? No. All right. I'm going to start the update, uh, the upgrade, and when I have the iMac open, I will show you the insides, and this thing is, oh, this thing is annoying to work inside. Not annoying, but confusing, and I still have two, school. let me show you the screws. Well, you saw them in a video before, but I just have them sitting here. Of course, it just rolled under my TV, so I have to get that. Here's one of them. There's one more under my TV. Um, I never found out where they go, but hopefully I'll find out on the way inside the iMac, so... Stay tuned for iMac upgrade goodness. Put on your seatbelts. I almost forgot. I wanted you guys to watch the um, boot up process of this before I upgrade it. And listen to the noise a hard drive makes. It's, it's like not so loud, but it's annoying. And this new hard drive will be so much quieter. So just watch and enjoy. <laughs> Do you hear the hard drive noise back here? Isn't that annoying? <laughs> also, something else to keep in mind with this upgrade of the hard drive is this is a 7200 RPM hard drive 
And I don't know what speed that hard drive is, but this one's pretty much guaranteed to run a little warmer. So, but that's also why I have it out here now. It used to be in my closet. But, um, I'm just going to keep it out here because it's cooler. Plus, it's winter time. And let me check my widget real quick. Alfred's laughing right now because he loves my widgets. 26 degrees. Yes, that's pretty cold. So, it's good that it'll be out here in the open. I also wanted to tell you some Oh, yeah. Okay. While wow, this upgrades, I'll talk to you. I mean, upgrades, boots. Um, the real reason I'm upgrading this iMac is, well, A, because it's just fun and because I'm a geek like that and, and I enjoy doing stuff like that. And B, because I want to have it... You see the iPad that is by me? I want to have it act as a... Um, fix on my screen here. As a... Not an actual server, but just a computer where I can know all my photos and my music files are on there. Basically, it'll be like a backup machine, but it'll always be running. But I'll figure out how to shut the screen off. And, yeah. So basically, my photos and music will always be there. They'll always be running... This, this will always be running iTunes and iPhoto. So all of the sharing setup and everything. All the personal file sharing setup and everything like that. So it'll be cool. I need a drink of Mountain Dew. Um, anyway. Uh... Stay tuned for upgrade goodness. Woo! Apparently, my iMac is upside down. For good reason, obviously. Okay. Um, as I go through the process, I'm just going to point out things that I think are pretty cool. I just want to point out first that even back then, Apple still had cool ways of accessing the hardware. Just unlock it, lift this up. Look at that. You can get straight to the RAM. Very cool. And get it out of there. <laughs> Look how skinny that is. Uh, 120, uh, let me see. Yes, 64 megs. So they're both 64 sticks, so. Yes. Good stuff. I can't wait to slap in a gigabyte in here. This thing's gonna fly. In terms of iMac specs. <laughs> I don't know if Tiger's going to run that well, but we'll see. Oh my god. You have no idea what just you have no idea what just happened. I like opened the iMac, right? I like touched something on the circuit board. It literally zapped me. My finger was like shaking and now there's like a little smoke coming out. So I, I don't even know if I should touch it. Oh my. Obviously I'm kidding again. I'm sorry. I had to stop the jokes. It's pretty funny though. Anyway, I have it open. It's like all over the place. Like I tore off its legs and arms. Oh god. Okay, look at it. We have his butt. Alright. Um, it's bottom, obviously. Screws. I almost dropped one, by the way. But luckily, it hit the plastic and stayed there. Um, I don't exactly know what this is. Maybe it's to block interference to the hard drive and the circuit board or anything like that. Like uh, for shocks or something. Maybe if somebody can explain to me what that is. Basically, it went like this. Okay, this came off the back, just in a clip to get to the screws, and more screws, more screws. Alright, here it is. It's a fine piece of hardware. I'm serious. Alright, two RAM slots as you saw before. Uh, the hard drive's right in here. Get a better shot in there, yep. Hard drive's right in here. And then this is the slot loading DVD ROM drive. Very cool, I cannot wait to rip them out and put new parts in. Stay tuned. Oh my god. Finally. Seriously. Literally, like 30 minutes to 45 minutes later. No, it's not done. I got the freaking screw out. No, Alfred, I did not drop it in the iMac. I freaking stripped it. Look at it. I definitely ruined it. I don't know if you can see it on here, but... Oh, it's pretty freaked up. My god. I tried like literally 30 different tools in the garage and you know me, I'm no freaking architect. I'm just a computer nerd who upgrades hardware once in a while. I tried all the tools I could find. I was trying freaking torque screws that I use in my power book. Um, I have this screwdriver, this screwdriver, but you know what? This thing saved my life. I know, calm down David, I'm like going psycho over here. But I, I have a good reason to. I just want to get this thing upgraded and over with. So look, pliers. I freaking 
Oh my god, so tight around the screw, I turned it. I was like, oh, thank you, and it turned. The screw is stripped. Um, I might not even put the screw back in. You only need, like, at least two screws to hold a hard, to, um, hold a hard drive in. So, I'm, I'm just going to put three in. Look what I did to the case. Doesn't matter since it's the inside. But look at that. Look, I was picking at it so much. I know that's wrong to do all that, but I just had to. So, finally, after all that trouble, we can get this whopping 7 gigabyte hard drive out of here. If I can get the freaking ribbon cable out. There we go. Oh, this thing's heavy. Uh, let's see. Apple Quantum. Fireball! Oh, yeah! This thing's a fireball, alright? Doesn't say the um, size anywhere. Interesting. But we do know it's old and junky and, you know. Now let's put the 120 gigabyte hard drive in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Check it out. Seagate. Where's the size? 120 gigabytes. Oh yeah. Very nice. 7200 RPM, obviously. And you know what's cool? This hard drive is brand new. The guy I bought it from on eBay says he bought it, but then he didn't need to use it. And what's even cooler is... He actually included the best buy receipt, just in case it doesn't work. So, kudos to him. That's what I call a good eBay user. Alright, I'm somewhat confused. This ribbon cable came with the hard drive, but I already have one on the iMac, coming from the uh, DVD-ROM drive, or well, CD-ROM drive now, into the old hard drive. Now, do I replace it with this new one? I'm guessing so. So, uh... My knowledge on hard drives isn't that high, so we'll see how it goes. God bless you, Seagate. I don't even see those screws in the um, bag before. Seriously, God bless you. <laughs> Screw the old screws. <laughs> no pun intended. But, um, yes, good screws. I mean, new screws equals good screws equals happy me. Oh, yeah. Very nice. The hard drive is in there. This ribbon cable's freaking huge compared to the old one I took out. Um, I was thinking about using this one, but I wasn't sure if I had to use a new one, so. Better be on the safe side and use a new one. Freaking huge. Now I have to figure out where these connectors go. I think, I think the middle one goes right here. Back one to the DVD-ROM drive when I install it. Then the end one goes right here. What the hell? Doesn't even fit. Oh god, I'm confused. 